The following was recorded by John Loth and is intended for educational purposes. This recording is not to be sold or distributed for sale. If you wish to support the work and publishing of these recordings, please visit the John Loth Patreon page. If you come across these recordings anywhere else without my expressed support, and find that they are requesting donations for presenting this work to you, you will not be supporting the creator by doing so. This is just a friendly warning to anyone who may fall prey to predatory practices I have come across recently. The Grand Chessboard by Zbigniew Brzezinski Chapter 5 The Eurasian Balkans In Europe, the word Balkans conjures up images of ethnic conflicts and great power regional rivalries. Eurasia, too, has its Balkans. But the Eurasian Balkans are much larger, more populated, even more religiously and ethnically heterogeneous. They are located within that large geographic oblong that demarcates the central zone of global instability, identified in Chapter 2, and that embraces portions of southeastern Europe, Central Asia, and parts of South Asia, the Persian Gulf area, and the Middle East. The Eurasian Balkans form the inner core of that large oblong, see map on page 124, and they differ from its outer zone in one particularly significant way. They are a power vacuum. Although most of the states located in the Persian Gulf and the Middle East are also unstable, American power is that region's ultimate arbiter. The unstable region in the outer zone is thus an area of single power hegemony and is tempered by that hegemony. In contrast, the Eurasian Balkans are truly reminiscent of the older, more familiar Balkans of southeastern Europe. Not only are its political entities unstable, but they tempt and invite the intrusion of more powerful neighbors, each of whom is determined to oppose the region's domination by another. It is this familiar combination of a power vacuum and power suction that justifies the appellation Eurasian Balkans. The traditional Balkans represented a potential geopolitical prize in the struggle for European supremacy. In the Eurasian Balkans, astride the inevitably emerging transportation network meant to link more directly Eurasia's richest and most industrious western and eastern extremities, are also geopolitically significant. Moreover, they are of importance from the standpoint of security and historical ambitions to at least three of their most immediate and more powerful neighbors, namely Russia, Turkey, and Iran, with China also signaling an increasing political interest in that region. But the Eurasian Balkans are infinitely more important as a potential economic prize an enormous concentration of natural gas and oil reserves is located in the region, in addition to important minerals, including gold. The world's energy consumption is bound to vastly increase over the next two or three decades. Estimates by the U.S. Department of Energy anticipate that world demand will rise by more than 50% between 1993 and 2015 with the most significant increase in consumption occurring in the Far East. The momentum of Asia's economic development is already generating massive pressures for the exploration and exploitation of new sources of energy, and the Central Asian region and the Caspian Sea Basin are known to contain reserves of natural gas and oil that dwarf those of Kuwait, the Gulf of Mexico, and the North Sea. Access to that resource and sharing in its potential wealth represent objectives that stir national ambitions, motivate corporate interests, rekindle historical claims, revive imperial aspirations, and fuel international rivalries. The situation is made all the more volatile by the fact that the region is not only a power vacuum, but is also internally unstable. Every one of its countries suffers from serious internal difficulties. All of them have frontiers that are either the object of claims by neighbors or are zones of ethnic resentment. Few are nationally homogeneous, and some are already embroiled in territorial, ethnic, or religious violence. <laughs>